And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme tier Monday. We got three unique viewer submitted decks. This one's going to be Green Glade Mobilize. This one is going to be a one turn kill deck. That's going to be the goal uh, with some elusive. So we're going to be using Zed Poppy going with elusive. So, you know, like that part's going to be a little bit familiar, but we got a twist here. We're going to have um, Green Glade Elder and Mobilize in here. So our goal is to, you know, find Green Glade Elder if we can, like right away. And maybe like, you know, don't play any units on one or two, save them up in our hand to be able to drop Green Glade Elder on round three. For, so all of the allies in our hand get plus one, plus one. And then we can even retreat return, put the Green Glade Elder back in our hand, return it back into play, give our allies in our hand plus one, plus one again, right? So we're really buffing them up. Then we can cast Mobilize, so they're super cheap. And then in like one shot, we'll just drop, you know, like Green Glade Duo, Green Glade Duo, Navori, Blade Scout, Young Witch, right? All these things we can play like, you know, round six or so. We can just drop like, you know, six units like this. Because um, you know, like these things will cost zero mana. These will only cost one mana, for example, and uh, just attack for 20, <laughs> basically, uh, with all these elusives. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Uh, besides that, because we can play some really cheap stuff, we can you know use our Golden Ages to rally. And then our backup plan is going to be our champions with Zed and Poppy. That's kind of like our backup plan. But Poppy in particular, you know, works great with elusives, of course, giving them more plus one plus ones. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what it is. So let's try it out. Green, Green Glade Mobilize. Head on over to Normal. And we're going to play our five games over there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Depending on our hand, it could get really, really good for us. And so, yeah, like this is the kind of matchup where we really want Green Glade Elder, right? Because we need a large, we need larger, like more health units than just like one health against your Twisted Fate Gangplank. Uh, Ranger's Resolve is a great spell against Twisted Fate Gangplank, and Shadow Assassin draw on a card is really nice. But I guess we still send those back. We want Green Glade Elder, so I'm keeping the one, just keeping a one drop to kind of have, you know. I, you know, make sure that we don't have too high of a curve or anything like that. And um, let's grow the Shadow Assassin. I don't want to just you know take two and everything for nothing. All right, we'll just pass here. Hopefully draw a green, green Glade Elder. Yes! It's working. Yeah. It'll make all these a lot harder to kill for them. All right, so now, unfortunately, with four mana, I can only play one unit. And I guess that unit is just supposed to be Zed, right? Like, if we're only playing one thing, we'll just have that be Zed. And then we can have Sharp Sight and Ranger's Resolve also. We'll get that lecturing Yordle out of here. I guess we'll just let that happen. Won't use Ranger's Resolve quite yet. All right, cool. So now we'll go Vanguard Sergeant. And then probably next round, drop all of these. I mean, I, I guess like we could play the Green Glade duo. I guess we could play the Green Glade duo right now.
Ooh. Um. Hmm. Definitely worried about like Twist of Fate red card. Maybe just make one attack first. And then after combat, go like Blade Scout, Golden Ages. Good. I like them using mana that doesn't affect the board or anything. Very good. All right, that should probably be game. Yeah, because they just have two blockers. That'll do. Yeah, that extra point of health from the Green Glade Elder. But, you know, that really helped out, right? Like our our Zed, our Green, Green Glade duo, like they needed that extra point of health, <laughs> you know? Otherwise they would have died. So that clutch Rangers resolve and Green Glade Elder drew that right in time. GG's. Yeah, cut for more sharp side and twin disciplines and stuff. Which also makes sense. Zoe Heimer. All right, what we got? This is just a good hand, but it's not a Green Glade Elder hand. I guess we can send those back. I want to keep Fleet Feather Tracker because of Zoe. Okay, interesting. Yes. Now we talk in. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I need to go. I think we can wait till next round to play mobilize, I guess. We can just lead lead here. I don't I don't need to make that thing cost two. I guess I could have, though. Oh, retreat return? <sighs> okay. So we could retreat return this Green Glade Elder and give these all plus one, plus one again. But then I can't really mobilize. Let's see. <gasps> Wait. If we mobilize, we can return and put Poppy back into play. Okay, wait. This could actually be pretty sweet. I don't, all right, I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Let's just do this and pass and just kind of see what, what happens. What seems to be the problem? Okay. So we probably need to kill Heimer. So probably Green Glade Duo... Hurts. Uh, well, wait. Oh, yeah, because I can still retreat. Okay, then we can still return the poppy. So it's basically, do we want to play the other Fleet Feather Tracker or not? And I guess so. Right?
Let's kill those. Alright, got Heimer out of here. That's not bad. All of our stuff stayed alive. Yes, Clutch Rangers Resolve. Clutch Rangers Resolve. And I guess I should just open attack instead of pl playing Zed. Oh, but I want to play Zed. Alright, now we're playing Zed. Because I don't know how they deal with Zed or deal with anything, really. I don't know how they deal with any of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, that gets absurd. That's Green Glade Elder and Mobilize together. <laughs> GG's. That was absurd. <laughs> just zero mana Fleet Feather Trackers just coming down. So for, for like one mana, if you don't count the two mana of picking the Green Glade, Green Glade Elder back up, for one mana, we played two 3-2 three, two Fleet Feather Trackers and a Poppy. And a 5-4 Poppy also, by the way. And then, you know, attacking. So two 4-3 Challengers and a 6-5 Poppy. That Ranger's Resolve has been coming in clutch. Should maybe have more than one of those. Maybe more of those instead of Sharp Sights. I don't know. All right, let's send this back. Let's send that back. You know our deck's pretty good whenever we have like this one, two, three, four curve, and I and I'm like, man, our hand's not very good. Which I guess we'll just go ahead and go with the curve. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take out... Um, I wouldn't recommend taking out... Or, like, putting in another Ranger's Resolve over a unit. I would probably take out a spell. You know, like, it would just be, like, replace, like, Sharp Sight with it or something. Replace spell for spell. Hey, there's Ranger's Resolve. So I think because of Ranger's Resolve, I'm playing the duo, so we have the one mana still for that. So now we can either make this attack, and that's just fine, or I can attack with like this, and they block with Teemo on my Green Glade duo, and then I, you know, I use my Ranger's Resolve there on the Teemo, and we get more damage in. I kind of want to do this attack. Is that one less retreat? But Retreat Return so cool with Green Glade Elder. Our Inspiring Mentor to grow the poppy. Oh, they had another Teemo. I wonder if, you know, like, do I want to make that trade? I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Because otherwise that Green Glade duo trades with, like, the Teemo, or, you know, like, or the Teemo blocks it. I don't know. No, I guess I shouldn't have, because I can give I could have just gave Poppy quick attack. Maybe I shouldn't have made that trade. Saw the 
Wow. Two of my five puff caps? Right on that card? Okay, so that did not work out. That did not work out. All right, let's draw a rally. Just have to hopefully not get burned out. Alright, so we'll put this back on top so they don't create the ignition. Um, also, you know, now we know that they're drawing that card, so right, like if they don't they don't get to draw a burn spell, they have to draw that card. Like so that's that's a really good thing about the poppies. Like we just took away their their draw step. Okay. So you're gonna attack, you're going to give I don't know, you. Doesn't really matter. They have two blockers. They can block Poppy and a four, and they're taking a lot of damage. Okay, so they had Teemo left, and we know that last card's Ballistic Bot, and that will do. 3-0 for Greenglade Mobilize. Okay, so after those first three games... Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go on over to ranked. Usually we wait till we go 4-0 with the deck before taking it over, over to ranked. But we've seen this deck is very good. And it's it's probably too good for normal. Zed, Poppy, Demacia, Ionia have been doing some crazy stuff here. So let's, let's head on over to ranked for the other two games. Okay, so we have Kindred Nessus. All right. So we got Retreat Return, which is half of our Green Glade duo combo, but we don't have the other half. So just send it all back. Or Green Glade Elder. Sorry, wrong Green Glade. Um, I think I may just pass. I don't know if a 1 mana 2 1 is really what I want. I really want Green Glade Elder. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like 1 mana 2 1s just trade with that. All right, I guess we will. Pretty weak hand so far. There we go. I was going to say pretty weak hand so far, getting 4-1 drops and no champs or anything. Okay. Okay. Hands getting better. There's nothing really for me to Fleet Feather Tracker right now. So I could drop Fleet Feather. Next round, play one Blade Scout and Poppy. Or I just play Poppy and then Golden Ages. No, I think we wait around for Golden Ages, so. Okay. So that's a pretty poor draw. Yeah. Really, retreat her now? Yeah, yeah. 
Sometimes your cards just don't line up. They don't help you out. This game's not over, though. This game's not over. Good hand opponent. Alright, they had us. We did not have as good of a hand that time, and they had a very good hand to just to stop us, all those vile feasts and everything. Alright, so another Shadow Isles control deck. This can be tough. Hopefully we draw our cards in the correct order this time, right? Like, you know, we had uh we drew our Green Glade Elder, our Retreat Return, our Mobilize, like later on. Uh, so learn our lesson. Let's send these one drops back. We'll keep Zed, but we're going to keep, like, Retreat Return. Let's look for Green Glade Elder. Or we'll just, just get more one-drops, because the one-drops, you know, die pretty easily without an Elder. All right, so how aggressive do we want to get? Do we want to mentor the Zed? The reason not to mentor the Zed is, like, if we're... Okay, so we can't... All right, we have the attack token round four. All right, let's just pass. I really, really want Green Glade Elder. I'm holding out hope. Nope. Holding out hope. So yeah, so now we have Retreat Return Mana for Zed, so that's good. No! Now it's Green Glade Elder after I shouldn't have used that retreat return. I hate traffic. Oh no, now I can't believe I wasted that retreat return. Man, that's how it's been going for us. Ugh, not another retreat return. Alright, at least at least that Zed will get the plus one plus one. At least, actually, no, it won't really get the plus one, plus one, will it? I can shadow shift. I can shadow shift Elder, though. Put it back in our hand with shadow shift. Go now. I'm just gonna let this happen. Think before you strike. So I do this, they vile feast my two one. Theirs grows to be a five four. <clears throat> well, so I could just take out this and keep them keep them with the five four. Oh, right. If they have Vile Feast, they just kill my 3-1 with a Vile Feast. They don't kill the 2-1, they kill the 3-1. So, yeah, I should have just blocked the Sentinel anyway. Good call, good call. This is safer to go with just protecting the Zed. That's the safer play. Than protecting the Mentor. Okay. Because if I put that on the Mentor, and then they still use, you know, they can still use like a one damage spell. And now my Zed has more health also.
Yes, retreat return. Okay. I think we got this next round. At least, I think we will. Guess we return here. I guess I can't play all everything. Mm, I guess not. Love it. I could kind of see maybe not attacking with the Green Glade Elder. Sure. And so this is why we like hold on to these Green Glade duos till like the end of, um, until you know, like after we like have these Green Glade Elders, like we want to hold on to the duos first. All right, I think that will do. Yeah, Greenglade Elder is so powerful. Getting like you know, getting these elusives to be even bigger. All right, four and one. Made up for that previous game against the Vile Feast. You know, we kind of like drew the Elder and the Retreat Return too late, but you can see the power between Elder and Retreat Return there and just just retreat retreat return with some of the stuff that was really cool how we got to do retreat return with poppy that what was that the first game or the second game that was really really cool how we mobilized made everything cost let you know like one less and then you know so we had three mana poppy and then we got to put you know <laughs> one mana burst speed put a poppy in play that was awesome i really liked that game um so there we go that's that's the deck uh, I could see getting another Ranger's Resolve in here because that card definitely looked great as far as like something to remove to put it in. Maybe maybe you only need one. Yeah, you know, like we did we did see like with those games that we lost, we kind of just had like all our one drops and not like our more powerful stuff. Uh, so maybe we could go like one Inspiring Mentor uh, and then two Ranger's Resolves and just kind of switch that up a little bit. Um, and uh, I think that's kind of about it. I uh, don't necessarily love the Vanguard Sergeant, even though it can be pretty big. Um, maybe Vanguard Redeemer instead. Maybe drawing a unit is more valuable for us. Or maybe, you know, maybe we just need, like, some Relentless Pursuits in here. Uh, you know, like normal Zed of Poppy stuff. Ooh, Sparring Student's also kind of nice. I didn't think about Spar. I just didn't even think about Sparring Student. But I wonder, maybe Sparring Student instead of Inspiring Mentor that thing could get like real big out of, out of hand or or just bright steel protector yeah bright steel protector with the barrier is always great yeah that's what i'd probably recommend maybe take out these one drops put put in a couple bright steel protectors that's always pretty good i don't know but yeah so it's it's close but i think the green glade elder is really underrated and i think that we showed like in some of these games like how like that extra size can be awesome and so you, you have to play a little bit of a different game plan right you, like you want to slow it down um, as you saw there like that last game like we held our green glade duos till the very end uh, got them buffed up um, you know three times before playing them so good for one um, pretty cool little deck here with green glade mobilize all right so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck with just you know super fast you know, a, basically a different version of Zed Poppy, a super fast version with Green Glade Elder. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.